YouTube, how you guys doing today? My name is Trey Carter, AKA Captain Combat. Guys, you know on this uh, YouTube channel, we love to bring a lot of gaming and jujitsu related content. Let's be real, if you got a passion, make content on that thing, that's what we're doing right here. So if you guys would love to support this channel, do not forget to subscribe, like this channel, video, whatever you wanna call it with this video. But getting to our question that we had, uh, actually had somebody post and give a question in one of our last videos and what they were asking was, um, they were going from teaching an afternoon class and going to a nighttime class. What they were doing is they were asking for some tips for instructors. So I wanna make a video today for some really simple key tips. There's no like detailed manual because I've been in a lot of classes and over the years that I've been, whether it was wrestling or jujitsu, everybody has a different style, but there's some common denominators that are incredibly crucial that'll be almost like I don't want to say the deal breaker, but it's going to be the difference between you being a kind of fill-in substitute coach or an actually really talented coach. And when people hear that you're teaching that class, they actually want to be there. Because the last thing you want to have happen is to be in a situation to where like, for example, you're going to cover class, people hear coach is not there, but because it's you coaching, nobody shows up. There's a couple things you could do to help with that. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. So number one is pretty simple make sure you understand the technique that you are teaching. It's incredibly simple, but incredibly important. So what I mean by that is you wanna make sure you understand every single detail, every single response you can have to that. So when you're walking through, have really good attention to detail, and make sure you have your class structured and planned. The, the last thing you wanna do is be willy-nilly and just kinda of flow through your class, and whatever happens, happens. For example, with our school, what we do is we format our class that we're gonna be having. Uh, we do, basically, we line everybody up in the beginning. We do any announcements we may have for the gym. We bow in and we immediately start warming up with our stretches. Then we start jogging around the mat. We go straight to our line drills and it's structured in the same thing every time. For example, shrimping, butt scoots forward and backwards, combat stand-up, back break falls, anything you can think of it's gonna be structured and consistent so people understand and know what to expect. Then after that, we do a little bit of water and then we flow into the technique of the day. And for example, we have like a beginner's class at the beginning of the week, so we focus on one aspect of our technique that we're gonna be going through. But then like on throughout the week in our fundamentals and getting into maybe a little, some of our advanced class stuff, we'll have an actual more detailed breakdown of every single step in that technique. My encouragement to you is find a resource that with whatever technique you're gonna be teaching that week that you can have good information from. Let, let me give you an example. I'm a part of the Coyotera Association, right? CTA, if you guys know who Coyotera is, pause this video, open a new tab, look up Coyotera. The guy is not just super talented on the mat, but the dude's an incredible human being. He's nowhere close to as good as me at Fortnite. You can even tell him that yourself, but he's an incredible dude, super funny, really talented at Jitsu. We have, uh, on Coyotera Online, we have a format on how, for example, if we're teaching the bump sweep. I've done bump sweep countless times of sparring. I've taught it a handful of times, but if I know it's popping up on the curriculum, and that is what I am gonna be teaching to my school this week, I'm gonna be going through to people that, for example, I look up to, and I believe that, let's be real, Kyle's won like, what, 12 world titles? He's quite a bit far ahead of me, so I would put him as a position of authority of myself, along with my professor, Brian Subner, and I would be looking and researching and studying that video to make sure I understand every single detail about what and why I am doing what I am doing. So to shorten that up, know what you're teaching. Here's the next, second thing. Knowing the individual's names that attend your class and making a, um, I don't wanna say like a personal relationship with them, but you wanna be building rapport with them. I don't wanna say you have to be a salesman, but to a degree, you gotta sell yourself. You can't just walk in with a black belt, brown belt, whatever belt that you are and expect to have some degree or level of authority. You have to walk in there, treat these people as people, teach good technique, and this is an escape for people. Have fun. Smile with these people. Ask if they have any questions. Walk around to each of them. When you see somebody doing it right, point them out to everybody. I mean, you don't need to embarrass them, but at the same time too, if you're seeing they're doing really good, let them know. So you'd be like, hey, Jeff, you're doing a really good job making that grip right there. Now, Jeff thinks I'm just talking to him, but the whole world knows it because I'm talking loud enough while I'm speaking to Jeff, then I'm praising him in front of everybody. It's gonna build Jeff's confidence a little bit. Let's be real, it's gonna help the relationship between both of us. 
But those are the two easiest tips I can give you is number one, make sure you understand what you're teaching and I would do even a little bit more study. For example, study film of guys that uh, perform that technique really well. Like if I was gonna teach butterfly guard, for example, I'd be researching a lot of Marcelo Garcia, not just within his DVDs, but watching some of his actual matches and footage as I prep for the class that I'm teaching. Or if I can be honest, I had to say Marcelo first because it's Marcelo Garcia, but Adam Borzinski. I know I said his last name wrong. I'm an American, cut me some slack, but uh, that guy's absolutely incredible. I've actually been studying a lot of that guy's film. I've got some of instructionals. Instructionals are great, but I've found a lot of the benefit of watching actual fights and matches go down where I've got the best results. So I really hope this is a big help to you. In short, if you could do those two things and be patient, because in time it will get better. If you have the technique but no personality in time, they'll keep coming to class because you're talented and good at teaching Jiu Jitsu. But if you can teach a technique, you got a good personality, you build good rapport with these people, people will be seeking you out to learn from you. Hope that was helpful to you guys. Stay fresh, have fun. Catch you guys next time. Peace.